You just saw the lightning, now I'm about to bring the thunder. We are gonna talk about the brand new F-150 Lightning that Ford just released just a few minutes ago. And you guys, this is a really exciting truck. There is a lot to go over here. This is a fully electric, full-size truck. This is a really big deal, not just for Ford, but for all automotive companies. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead, let's look at the numbers and see what the Lightning is going to offer us. So just starting out, this is gonna come in just under $40,000. The exact number is $39,974. And that is before the federal tax credits. Um, I think afterwards it comes in right around 32,000. So that's like a really decent price for a truck, I feel like, especially a full size and electric one. Um, I, now this is just like a guesstimate here. I'm thinking that probably they're gonna do the different trim levels. So I'm assuming that that base price is gonna be like the XLT and the Platinum and Limited, that would probably come in, I'm guesstimating here, probably around like the mid $70,000 mark. Now let's go ahead and let's talk a little bit more here because I think that there are gonna be about two different battery pack options. Now Ford, during their presentation, they only talked about the extended range one. So let's go ahead, let's continue talking about that now. It'll have a range of 300 miles and that is the extended range that we're talking about. But it'll also have just under 600 horsepower 770 pound-feet of torque, and that'll be able to sprint you from zero to 60 in four and a half seconds. I don't know about you, but that is fast. You could almost say it's lightning fast. See what I did there? Okay, moving on, and it can tow up to 10,000 pounds, which is really impressive. Okay, but let's stop right there. Let's circle back real quickly to the price because just under $40,000 is really competitive. Not just competitive with like regular ICE vehicles, but it's also, this is good to know, it's also where Tesla like just priced their Cybertruck. Remember when Tesla released it, they priced it just under $40,000 too. So that's really interesting to note here. Now let's also talk about range. Now we mentioned it was the 300 miles and that was the extended range. Okay, now we don't really have really a standard to compare it to because all of the EV trucks that have been presented haven't been released yet. Tesla's still working on theirs. Hopefully it'll be out soon. We know Rivian has theirs in the process too, um, but we don't have one actually out yet. So 300 miles of range is kind of right in the middle. We have some auto manufacturers that have given us ranges of like 250 all the way up to 500 miles. So 300 miles is really good, especially considering the fact that that range is gonna fluctuate based on like your payload or what you're towing. Um, so that is a good base number to have. Um, again, especially considering the fact that this is a full size truck. That's really important to remember here. And let's keep trekking along here. Let's talk about towing capacity one more time because this is really impressive. If we compare it to even a current traditional ICE F-150 that's on the market right now, that has a towing capacity of 13,000 pounds, and that's a lot. But the fact that Ford's first fully electric, full-size truck, that is a lot of F words, people. Say that real fast. Ford's fully electric, full-size truck, the fact that that can tow 10,000 pounds is crazy. That is really, really cool. Okay, but even cooler than that, we have to talk about this again. I know we just mentioned it, but the fact that it can do zero to 60 in four and a half seconds is blazing fast. That is lightning speed. Um, I think that'll definitely blast past the previous SVT Lightning. It's gonna beat the Raptor. I think the only truck that could actually beat the Lightning right now would be the Ram TRX. And people, that's because it has the engine of a Hellcat. That is in its own class of insanity. That is crazy. Uh, so the F-150 Lightning, that is very fast. That is very impressive. Okay, now let's segue from here. We have to talk about how it looks because let's be honest, people, looks are important. First impressions go a long way. Um, I hope you clicked on me because you liked how I looked. Okay, I know that's shallow, but I am a little bit shallow. Okay, let's talk about looks here. Um, I think it's really cool that it has the light bars, not only in the front, but it also has the rear light bar. I think as of right now, the Cybertruck is the only other vehicle that has the light bar in the front. And light bar, that's becoming like really current terminology, just like in the automotive world. Um, but the fact that only, I think the Cybertruck and the Lightning F-150 have it right now, that's really, really cool. Um, I think it just kind of even like conveys the electric vibe because it has that kind of like electrical current look to it. Does that make sense? I know that's just like a style thing, but I think that's really cool. 
but looking past the light bars, looking at the truck as a whole, this is like a completely different electric truck that we have seen. I mean, Tesla's truck, that is very polarizing. You either love it or hate it. Rivian's truck, that just looks electric too. This Ford, this is one that is going to blend in. So it really kind of depends on the buyer you are, the personality you have. What are you more drawn to? If you want to blend in, then the Lightning is going to be perfect for you because it looks just like a conventional F-150. When you look at it in the first like millisecond, you know two things. You know it's a Ford and you know it's an F-150. It's only upon like further inspection when you notice that, hmm, this isn't quite like a regular Ford. This is electric. Uh, so we'll talk about those details in a second here. But you guys, this is like the complete opposite end of the spectrum from the Cybertruck I feel like the Cybertruck is on this end. The Rivian is like in the middle. And then we have like the F-150. We have like the Lightning over here. Um, so depending on where you are in the spectrum, I think that'll determine which kind of truck you get. I think that's really cool. For me, I love the attention. So, I mean, I was drawn to the Cybertruck. But you guys, this F-150, this is looking so nice. Um, I mean, we used to have a Platinum F-150. It was an ICE one. Back in the day, we sold it to like get our EV. Um, but you guys, we loved our Platinum and this Lightning looks amazing. Okay, I'm getting way off track here. Um, but just the basic looks of the F-150, it looks really nice. It doesn't look out of the ordinary. It looks just really ordinary, like your normal F-150. And I think they totally accomplished the look they were going for. I just have one question, people. Why is there an antenna still on this vehicle? If you can answer that, please drop it in the comments below. Why does there need to be an antenna? These are like cutting edge of technology vehicles, but we still have that dang antenna on the front of the vehicle. Boop, 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 boop. And again, even though it does kind of look really ordinary, like the traditional ICE F-150 you see on the road, if you look just a little bit further, inspect it a little bit more, you do see those kind of electric tells that it has. If you look at the wheels, you notice that it has the aero style and that's gonna help with efficiency, which is only gonna help like promote better range. Um, so the wheels are one thing that stand out to me. I think the grill, the grill is definitely another one. The grill, if you looked, it's kind of like a closed off piece of plastic along the front. It doesn't actually have like those holes in a traditional grill. It's really closed off, just one piece of plastic, really similar to the Mach-E. And I mean, it doesn't have an engine. It doesn't really need a grill. <laughs> uh, so that one piece of plastic is perfect there. Um, a little bit further, you notice that it does have like a lower center of gravity. That was something that they really camped on for a second during the presentation. So since it has that lower center of gravity, it's able to do that because it has the battery pack and the motors like built into the frame of the vehicle. It's not like the traditional ICE vehicle where it has like the engine way in the front. So it has that lower center of gravity. Um, and they did say that it has like skid plates underneath. So if you do any off-roading or anything like that, you have those skid plates to protect the battery and the motor. So it is going to be safe there. And it's interesting to note that the Lightning is in four-wheel drive all the time. Um, and Ford gives you four different drive modes to choose from here. It comes with normal, sport, off-road, and tow mode. And I think that's really cool because a lot of times I think people think as an EV, like power or performance, something is going to be compromised here. But Ford did not do that. I mean, as a full-size truck, it needs to have these different modes. That's like super imperative to like being a truck in general. Just like Chandler and Joey said, like I think Chandler Chandler said on an episode of Friends where like the cushions are the essence of a chair, like different drive modes are like the essence of a truck. <laughs> Now let's talk about something I love even more, and that is the power frunk. And you guys, this frunk is massive. Okay, personally, after owning, we've had two EVs so far, and the frunks are where it's at. I love me a good frunk. I like to get frunky sometimes. I do, it's true. Uh, but Ford has coined a new phrase here. They coined the phrase mega power frunk. And you guys, it totally earns this name because it is massive. Okay, in the presentation, they showed like multiple pieces of luggage and golf clubs in this frunk. I think they said that it has 400 liters of space. I'm no mathematician, you guys, but 400 liters, that is like 202 liters. Like that is a lot of liters of soda. You could give like your whole tailgate party diabetes. Like that is a lot of sugar. <laughs> uh, but 400 liters, that is huge. Okay, but also in that frunk, they have four outlets. Um, and that's really cool. I think they said that throughout the truck, there are 11 outlets total and 21 different charge points. So that is amazing. Um, no matter how many iPhones, tablets, whatever you have with you, 
you better have like 21 different cords to bring with you because you can be charging all the time. Okay, but what is even better than that is the fact that there's an onboard 9.6 kilowatt battery pack. Okay, so yes, that can power like your power tools. Maybe if you're out camping or something, that'll power your hair dryer uh, because you guys, this does not air dry very well. It needs a hair dryer. Um, okay, but yes, it can power those things. But what's even better is the fact that it can actually power your house for three days. That has like real world application. They even talked about it in the presentation, like when Texas just went through that awful ice storm and like thousands of people lost power for like days and weeks. Um, this is something that is definitely gonna come in handy for sure. And powering a house, you guys, for three days, that is like mind blowing. That is a lot of power. That is really, really cool. So kudos to you for it, that is amazing. And as of right now, Ford is only talking about offering the Lightning as a super crew. We haven't heard anything about like a Lightning with an extended cab or anything like that. Okay, but something we do know is that it does have a 15 and a half inch portrait touchscreen. So very similar to the one on the Mach-E. We saw it even had that little turn dial there for the volume. Um, but what is really cool about this is that it comes with Sync 4A. Now, when you type your destination into your touchscreen, it is basically gonna automatically adjust your range depending upon your payload capacity and what you're towing. And it knows those figures because it has an onboard scale. You guys, that is amazing. It is gonna automatically know your range based upon the figures and the scale. Um, that is cutting edge technology right there. That is like super cool. Okay, but more cutting edge technology is also coming because it's gonna have Ford Blue Cruise and Ford Blue Cruise is basically hands-free highway driving. Um, so Ford is literally driving into the future with this Lightning. To reserve a Lightning, all you need is a hundred bucks, people. That's how much the deposit is. Now I'm gonna reserve some of my personal Personal opinions like my in-depth personal opinions about the lightning until we know a little bit more about this vehicle um, because we put down a deposit on the cyber truck like forever ago and we're still waiting for that to come out but now that the lightning is coming I'm wondering like should we put a deposit down on this one too should we give up the cyber truck and should we wait for the lightning or is the Cybertruck gonna be better? I don't know yet, you guys. Um, if you have any idea or if you have like any direction of where we should go, drop it in the comments below. Okay, also don't forget, if you haven't done so already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It helps our channel to grow so we can make more videos for you. Um, but as of right now, you guys, there are some options, people. Cybertruck, Rivian, uh, this F-150, I don't know. It's kind of a toss up right now. Maybe I should almost put a deposit down on all of them, but I feel like that's not right. I can't do that. I have to put a deposit down on the one that I really wanna get. Okay, well, that is all I've got for now. There is so much to think about here. Uh, drop me a comment and let me know what you think about the lightning. This is a big deal, you guys. So I wanna know what you think. Drop me that comment below. That's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.